Hey viewers, this is Peppy for Brawl and for this video we'll be taking a look at my latest custom and that is Ooh La La from Space Channel 5. So just an overall quick look of her first. And then round the back. Okay, so for this video I'll be showing the sculpt and also the articulation and the final result of the figure so I won't be going through much of how I made her or details like that hopefully that will be in the making of all of our figure but yeah here she is it's quite hard to tell but the Space Channel 5 logo is on her chest there but it's quite hard to tell due to lighting Mr. Face. It was really hard and challenging sculpting the face. It's hard to sculpt face in general, but to make it look like all a lot as well and have that kind of cartoon anime ish look was very difficult. But I think in the end it turned out just alright. So. This part of her microphone here is a natural wire. So I just cut a piece of that, bent it into the right shape and sculpted the end of it. And here's her hair. Which are two, both solid pieces. So it does weigh her hair just a bit um, down a bit, but it isn't too much that really affects her articulation. Yeah, you can see all the sculpting of the texture and the hair, all the individual lines. And moving down, moving down to her torso. Like I said, the logo is on her chest, and the wire that's around her neck is also the same type as here. So let's create that. A rounded shape and moving to the back here of her I think they're jetpacks I think I'm not too sure but there they are anyway moving down to a, a stomach area and her arms again it was hard just the whole overall figure was very really hard to make and sculpt so there are quite a few fairly rough edges but still in the end I'm quite happy with how she turned out and down to forearms and her hands her hands are actually from a Figma so I just took spare hands from existing Figma and attach them to ooh la la since I needed her to hold her accessories I had to make sure the hand was going to fit just right for it now moving down to her skirt which I did actually use a, a softer plastic kind of like rubber material so it is slightly bendable so this was so that it doesn't restrict her articulation too much and again it does have the wire around so that the skirt keeps its shape okay moving down to her legs see the strap sculpted onto her leg and the hole here is for attaching her gun which i'll show in a moment and down to her boots. And then at the bottom. It was tricky sculpting this part to keep its shape. But I think they turned out alright in the end. So yeah, there's the overall R figure. So for her accessories comes with 
uh, iconic microphone which also does have the logos on but they've oops, but over time they've seemed to have kind of uh, worn off a bit but you can still slightly make out the five and for the handle I actually customize a Revoltec joint so that it can slot cleanly into a holding hand which I'll show now so that just goes on just like that and for her other accessory she comes with her her gun again the logo is kind of worn off on both sides and for the handle again I used the Revoltec joint for that and on this side there's a small hole so that it so that I can attach this very small thin wire so I just connect it to her leg here and getting the gun and now I can attach the gun to her leg yep so there she is her complete look now for articulation uh, every joint I used a Revoltec joint so they kind of all um, so it gives her quite a lot of range of motion so for her head she can look left and right up and down and also side to side yep. and then for her shoulders she can move out to the side as well as back and forth and it could also swivel at the bicep so you can bring her arm in like so elbow you get the 90 degree bend oop her gun fell off I sculpted it so that it allows the joint for more range of motion so at least 90 degree bend and it can go back as well and that also has a swivel for her hand it's actually a Figma uh, joint so I have to be very careful to figure it since she is quite fragile so I have to be very fragile so it can move up and down swivel and that's the same for this arm now for the torso, instead of going for the waist joint, I went for a joint at the um, abdomen instead. Since I felt Ulala does quite dynamic poses, I thought an abdomen joint would be more effective for her character than a waist joint. So she's able to uh, move forward and back. And she can swivel side to side as well as swivel side to side this way as well and like I mentioned uh, she has no hip articulation but she does have a T-jointed style hip for her legs so they can move forward and back and this piece is a separate piece like I mentioned before so it doesn't restrict too much articulation you can also move out to the side and you can also swivel at the thigh for her knees like the elbows I sculpted it so that it allows for more range of motion but the boot does hinder just a slight so she gets just about a 90 degree bend and that and her leg can swivel that way as well and for her Her feet then go back and forth 
lots of range of motion as well as side to side and I pegged the voltage joint at an angle of the foot so that it allows her it allows her foot to uh, pivot but it is quite stiff Let's see if I can do it on this leg yep so she can pivot her foot just like that so it can so she can get more wider stances okay so that was my uh, custom Oolala figure she, she was pretty hard to make but at the same time quite fun as well and I've always wanted an Oolala figure but there just weren't really any made I know there are statues but not like a poseable uh, Oolala figure so I decided to try at my hand at making one and here she is Oh, and I also gave her a Tamashi stand so that she has quite a bit of trouble standing as you can see so I gave her this stand no she can stand so so that was my custom all of our figure hope you've enjoyed this review and thank you very much for watching till next time